Okay. So uh, for those of you who are uh, here for the first time, I'm Ashwin Ganeshan, and I'm a faculty member at the International School of Engineering. So uh, INSOFI is an acronym that stands for international. IN is international. S is school, OF is off, and E is engineering. We have branches in Hyderabad, Bangalore, as well as Mumbai. Uh, we do corporate training. We have uh, uh, postgraduate programs. We also have started master's and doctoral programs. And this is a, a free 10-week uh, course that we're offering. Just one second. Um, some of you, um, I think, uh, Shaikh uh, Shafiuin, if you could uh, uh, turn off your video, that would be great, um, because not everyone has a high bandwidth, so uh, it would be preferable if you could mute yourself and also uh, close your video. Uh, ideally, actually, I, I would prefer, of course, if every one of us was uh, seeing each other uh, live uh, in video and uh, you know uh, being able to communicate in audio but um, right now I think uh, many people don't have that bandwidth so uh, Shaikh once again I can I think I can see you here um, is it okay if I stop your video uh, Krishna Das what's the protocol is it okay if some of these students have their video on uh, so it's better uh, you know, they close the video and audio so that there won't be any disturbance. Otherwise, there they may be a disturbance. Yeah. Anyway, I have closed his video, so I think. So. Okay, great. Uh, there's a few others. Uh, Richita, uh, all right, you can go ahead and close theirs as well. Okay. Um, so, uh, so basically, um, um, we have, uh, so Insofi also has master's and doctoral programs, which we have started. Um, so if you're interested in those, you can, you can look up our website. Uh, let me go here to the very last slide. Um, not this one, sorry. No, it's okay. Okay, so uh, the, uh, today what we're going to be looking at is uh, the PageRank algorithm, uh, which was proposed by Bryn and Page. So we're in the um, uh, course called Graphs and Data Science. And the particular module, the first module is on link analysis. And today is the fourth session of this particular module. Uh, next week, I'll be starting the second module which is on online advertising. And you can, uh, so, so there's no prerequisite for the second module uh, in terms of the first module. So the second module is completely independent of the first module. The prerequisite for the second module is the same as the prerequisite for the first module, uh, which is just basic programming. So I'm assuming you've all taken a course in basic programming. Um, and so anyways, what I'm going to do in the next few minutes is recap and basically kind of summarize uh, what we have done the last three sessions before I get started on today's session. Okay. So uh, the basic question is uh, search engines and the uh, search. So, so the, the internet is organized in some manner. You have a web page A which has somewhere in it a hyperlink that points to web page B. So this arrow here means that somewhere in A, you can take your mouse and click on some particular anchor text, and that will take you to web page B. So you have these different web pages, a.html, it might be on InSofi's uh, website. Maybe there's a link there to some other uh, web page, maybe on the same server or a different server, and so on. And what you can do is abstract from this particular web graph, a directed graph that models the internet, okay? Uh, 
And uh, so here you have A pointing to B, which is exactly what you have right here. And then you have A also pointing to E.HTML. And so that's this link and so on. So you can construct what's called a directed graph. So when you go to the Google search engine, when you go to google.com and type your search query, uh, it, it gives you all the, the most, it often gives you the most relevant web pages. And today we're gonna talk about how it ranks the different web pages. So let's say I wanna purchase um, a, uh, a, 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 a TV. Um, you know, I go to, I go to google.com and I type something like a smart TV and it lists many web pages. Now there's, there's, there's probably, you know, uh, thousands or maybe much more tens of thousands of web pages which have the word smart TV. But quite often when I search for some words, uh, the search results uh, show at the top the most relevant web pages. How is that accomplished? Okay, I mean, amongst the thousands of web pages that contain the few words that I type, somehow Google is able to display at the top of the search results the most relevant web pages. How does it do it? And that's the that's the page rank algorithm that does it. We're gonna look at that today. Uh, what the page rank algorithm does is it takes as its input the web graph. So this is the web graph. So here's an example of a web graph on four nodes. Okay, so you have A pointing to B, right? B pointing to D and so on. So you have four web pages in the simple example and the page rank algorithm takes as its input such a directed graph and it outputs a page rank vector. The vector is going to basically be a probability vector. So the components of the vector will sum to one. And of course, each of the components will be non-negative. So you can see three over nine plus two over nine plus two over nine plus two over nine is one. And now the question is, how does the algorithm compute this output from this input? What this output basically tells uh, the search engine is that web page A has a higher score than web pages B, C, and D. And therefore, if all of web pages A, B, C, and D contain the search terms, the query terms, then I'm gonna list A at the top above B, C, and D. So this, is, this output is, a, is, is going to have a bunch of numbers. And the larger the number for a web page, the more important it is, and that will be taken into account when, when you order the web pages. 